Sorry, guys. Pause. Pause. Okay. Right, issue. Well, I mean, I like the book as a prop. Why do I like the book as a prop? Because they can't keep you from the speed. Yeah, because you're gonna have the book with you. It's, if they're a visual learner, I'm touching their learning style. If they're a tactile learner, does it help having them have a book? <coughs> yeah, they have something they can. They focused they can, on that focus focus last night the whole time. He, he had they to go use through it. They just hey, go oh, through it. Pretty cool. And if you run a hundred calls with them, ninety-nine times, ninety-seven, nine, they'll do the exact same thing, right? Ben's getting so good that pretty soon he'll be at 100%, I guarantee he will follow the system because he's yeah. taught it, he's gone through it. So, is that a chicken closing the chicken with the out the charts? Because it has to be second nature. I'm not only thinking about it, I'm talking about the book, I'm talking about 100%. If they ask me a question, I'm like, oh, hold on, I'm talking about your, I'm in my presentation. I'll be like, oh, any question about this, you got a problem. See, yeah, yeah, it's right here, it's written. I got you. Yeah, we'll take care of it. For me, because I've never done one like never that. Run but to see him do it, like he, the way he moves slow and he took his time, he wasn't rushing anyway. And I'm used to going to a job and getting done and leaving, you know. And uh, it was really slick. I mean, it was. Let me, and I'm not making fun of you, but here's how, here's how you do one man, you got to make money, you got to feed your kid. Mm -hmm. This is how you do service calls. Hi, my name's Ian. Is Kendall's over here? Great. Hey, that's pretty cool. Nice truck, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I gotta be a hundred bucks. I gotta go. All right, hundred bucks. Right. Thanks, hey, good luck. Yeah. Where's yeah. my next call? Yeah. Shoot, where's the gas station? I'm hungry. I gotta yeah. eat something today. Did I eat today? Yes, I don't know. Let me do it. I'm gonna make a fat burger. Yeah. It's how you run service calls, right? It was three hours before we started doing any work. Yeah. It takes some right. time to build a core and to talk, right? It takes some time to, to build. What was the ticket? Two weeks. Two tickets. Two, two tickets? Well, one of them. $850, you walk away with $850 of what they have in your life. Yeah. You think you might have hopped on the phone on Facebook because you only check people check Facebook, you know, four times a minute. So you think you might have said, just have a search guy in your house? Oh, yeah, they're awesome. awesome. If they're a Facebook person, they're putting it on Facebook. Yeah, they I might Snapchat, it. they might Instagram that. Their friends might see it. And then we have other marketing that's going out to those areas, and all of a sudden, they're like, man, I know I need to call Ian. He's coming right out there. Okay. Andy cool. runs, Andy's been with me for a decade. He has a client base that calls him. Chuck's been with me for like six, seven years. We have clients. Sometimes it sucks. It sucks because I can look on the board and I can have 10 calls and five are for Chuck and five are for Andy. And we'll call him like, Chuck's, I, he's on all day call. I don't have Chuck available. Can I send, you know, Matt, can I send Ben? Now I'll check, I'll see him tomorrow. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll wait. Well, 100% we'll wait. But you build your own clientele because you're doing the right thing. Right. Right. So I'm not making fun at all, no, but because you have so much to do when you're by yourself. Yeah. Let me do the accounting, let me do the marketing, let me get my truck, let me do that. That we're trying very much so that you guys are in the field. Mental lenzo preparation, all you That's think what about. That's what he says too about the book. He says, I like his book because it's all my customer. He goes, I like his book because it lets us focus on being electricians and we don't have to worry about the pricing. It's all right here for you. That's really, that was pretty, pretty cool. All right here. That'll be my job. Yeah. Personal satisfaction guarantee. Okay. So we're going to talk about operations and club. But here, get this back. You know what that does? It doesn't even know. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay. Um, write the scripts. Scripts, scripts written down, guys. Written down, written down. Okay. How are we doing on time? My night it was fast. Okay. Uh, we talked about our superstar, we talked about our P. We did steps five and six on our on our street floor pricing. Um, so number four on there, uh, uh, F, B, D, E, D, Q. I don't know what that means. Feature, benefit, better, different, uh, feature, benefit, different, better question. Okay, so if you ask a better question, you get a better result, okay? <coughs> the feature equals what? Fact. Fact. Binary. You want to know what binary code is? Yeah, ones and zeros. Ones and zeros. There is no two or threes. It's either ones or it's zeros. It is on or off. Benefit, that's the feeling. 
buzzing. The buzzing. The warm feeling. Then the other ones are what makes this better? What makes this different? And then we ask a question. Better, different question. So that you understand. So in the process, when I'm going through at any point in time, whoever asks the questions leads the call. Whoever's asking the question leads the call, leads the conversation. You ever been talking to someone and they ask us, what are you doing this weekend? Oh, you going to that office game? What's up with that office game? Where are you going to park? Oh, you got an extra ticket? I don't want to go with you, honey. I didn't even tell you about it. Right? You ever talk to your spouse and all of a sudden, what you doing? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. And you're like, whoa, whoa, this is conversation's way over here because that's the way the questions led up to it. <clears throat> so whoever's asking the question, <clears throat> better, different is what makes it what makes whatever I'm talking about better, what makes everyone I'm talking about different than the fictitious unknown. Make sense? Okay? So it's all about the cues. Questions. Now, after both after, before they had steps, we're gonna go through probing questions. And I'm gonna teach you, you know, five, 10, 15 probing questions just to use in every call. But when you finish, you have a question. So what kind of work do you think I'm gonna do today? Why would I ask that question? I want to find out if they pay attention to me. Right. That they listen to what I just said. <coughs> if they don't say great work, that means <coughs> I didn't communicate with them. So what kind of work do you think I did today? I'm going to do today. Great. No, I agree with you. I'm going to do great work. I asked the question of, I'm going to do the work today. I asked the question of, what did they think of me? What did they think of what I just said? The questions lead it. So think about questions and think about what's my purpose for asking that question. Where am I trying to take them? Where am I trying to lead them? Where am I trying to go? I have to give them the agenda on the roadmap. Uh, so we're going to go on. Uh, everyone has their phones, correct? Correct. Okay. Yeah. Well, we do. They don't need to on my desk. Okay. Yes. okay. So we got phones. Um, I have door hangers number nine. We've changed out door hangers to do um, yard signs. Okay. We're doing a yard sign contest that we're pulling to give gift certificates to the homeowners for yard signs, and then we're going to do some some competitions for the technicians as well. Uh, we've given some gift certificates and booths and just miscellaneous stuff. We try to beat contests. I'm really bad at contests. Guys really like them. I feel bad that I'm just, I need to get someone else to help me with that. But yard signs, people see them. Okay? So just ask them, hey, can I go to the yard sign? It's really simple. Ben, what's your scripture for your yard sign? We have a contest wherein we give a $100 gift certificate to a client on a monthly basis that allows us to put a yard sign in their front yard because you're proud of the work that we did for you. And Statement to your company or to your neighbors that you trust us. So it's easy. Go get a yard sign. Okay, put it there. So people drive, they see it. Okay, it's impressions. Every little bit's impressions. So if they see that yard sign, they go four or five houses down. They see a yard sign. They hop on their phone, their car, they hop on their their Facebook, and they saw our new Facebook or Instagram uh, ad. Then they hop on Facebook and they're talking to a friend, and he's talking about he just had eating out there. I better get you down here. I saw the sign, I saw the ad, I saw the truck. Huh? What's my what's my level of belief? Right. Okay. Okay. You know, now I believe everything you're saying because right. you're all around. Okay. So they don't know how long we've been in business. They don't know who we are. They don't know that we'll follow up and we'll take care of the clients. They don't know it's gonna be able to pull them down. So that yard sign helps fill that gap. Bridge. We will increase call count, but also we will help you close the call that you're on. Right? So that's why we went from a door hanger to a yard sign. Okay? So I need to change my little sheet and put yard sign on there. Okay. Three options. Uh, it's 917. I'm not going to hop into to three options. We'll talk a little bit at the end tomorrow. Um, options are going to be incredibly important. Um, but I don't think we're doing a great job in this organization of three options. And so um, Ben's grabbing the people. Say, you need to go through your options, you need to go through your options. Um, so we'll start working on that. Okay. Questions you guys have for me today. Okay. The most important thing you can do is to break these out and have them written. Put them on the three by five cards. Ben, do you know where the three by five cards yes, are? Back? Okay, make sure they all have some three by five cards when you, when you walk that way. You got it. Okay. Get, you write them out on three by five cards. Now I write them on a sheet of paper four or five times first. Mm -hmm. And then actually read word for word. 
or give it to your spouse and say, could you read this out loud for me? And when she reads it, you're like, ooh, is that what I hear? You also can tape yourself. It sounds horrible, but you can tape yourself. And if you, when you get real good, you put a video camera in the back and you video yourself talking about it and then you see how you hold yourself, how's your presentation, what are you doing, okay? Because they're reading off of you. They're feeling off of you. That's how you take a running, an electrical service call, an HVC service call, a drain call, and that's how we turn that into a goal for all of us, right? Now, and how we do it the right way. Service person that ever had their house that actually communicated. I get a kick out of certain people that are in my house. Because what am I doing? Oh, yeah. That is yeah, so fun. I steal that idea? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Do you like the job? How long have you been working there? Do you pay well there? How's that vacation? They give you retirement? Oh, fuck yeah. I've got rude people coming out of my house. I've got Florida. His, that's his thing. He loves it. I, I'm a little busy for that, but he loves it. He's got a good company, so it must work. Okay. Another thing is, if not trying to recruit, give it to someone else. Next time you go take card jiff loop, how they talk to you. Are you hearing it? Are you not hearing it? Are they saying things that are bugging you or saying things that you really like? If you really like it, what do you say? How do you say it? Maybe I can use that. Maybe I can use that. Oh, I'm going to go back to my three bottles of my card. And he said this way when they showed me my jiffy loop option in front of the screen. You know what, the way he said it, I can use some of his words, I'll put that in mind. This is an evolving and fluid thing, but I'm paying attention to the world out there and seeing what's successful, so when you take it, you guys will bring it right back in. <coughs> and then your average ticket will go up, your closing percentage up, you will make more money. Okay, that's what I do. So let's break it now, let's get to uh, rock and rolling. I know you got a busy freaking day, uh, awesome job yesterday, texted me like crazy, um, so we get stuff. Boris, you want to grab me, so I'll come here in two seconds. John, good job. Memo, good job. Okay, let's break the kick ass. Thank you, everyone through the left part.